Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be going over the process of getting the block ready for assembly. All right, now we're spraying the threads with WD-40, breaking up all the grime and the corrosion and all the buildup from the previous head bolts that were inside, and as well if any dirt has gotten down there during the cleaning process. Fill them up and let them sit for about five minutes. Quick tip, to get a good tap to clean the threads for the heads, you take an old head bolt and cut grooves in it to make it basically like a homemade tap. It works really good. Start the bolt. Get your driver, run it down. Bring it out and repeat the process on every single thread on the block. The block is almost ready. It's looking really good at this point. All the threads are clean. The bores are honed. All we have to do now is clean the galleries. She's almost ready to be put together. So you're gonna to wanna to spray the passages with WD-40, take the engine brush kit, find the ones for the right size holes, and just brush the hell out of it until it's all clean, or to the best of your ability. Now when you do this, you're gonna get dirt everywhere inside the motor, but rest assured it's okay if you have a sprayer. Make sure to get in all of the lifter holes, the oil galleries, by the cam plate. You want to scrub everything until it's completely clean. Be sure to scrub the hell out of the lifter valleys. Almost have it scrubbed out now. Here in a second, we're gonna take a air hose with a little bit of mineral spirits and we're gonna spray out the entire block and get it completely cleaned out and ready to go to have the crank put in. It's a really good method. All you have to do is have a sprayer you can add water to and then just blow it completely out with mineral spirits and air. Works really good.
I have king main bearings, standard size bores, pop them in, get ready to set the crank in. Lube up the main bearings. I use Clevite bearing lube. Set the crank in right. Now you're going to take the Clevite bearing guard, coat the journal, set the main cap gently and evenly. The number five main cap is reversed opposed to one, two, three, and four. Keep that in mind. Insert the bolts. And then snug them down evenly, alternating in order to get the cap flush with the block. Now the reason why we didn't use a rubber mallet for this is because the shop's really dirty and I didn't want to take a chance of hitting the main cap and then dust going all inside the motor. So we just did the method of alternating, tightening down the bolts until it was all the way flush. So the torque specs for these caps, on the inner and outer bolts, you want to do the first pass of 15 foot-pounds and then you want to come back and the inner bolts 80 degree turn and the outer bolts a 50 degree turn in sequence. Now it's always good to add a little bit more RTV to these bolts if you're going to reuse them. I know GM recommends that you replace them, but we're taking RTV, put it on there, and then we're going to torque them down. Next, once you have all the side bolts lubed up with RTV, you want to torque them in an alternating fashion one side and then the other side and then move on to the next cap you want to torque these to 18 foot pounds in sequence Always be sure to check your torques. You can never go wrong with making sure that they're torqued to spec. Now the crank is installed and spinning nice and free.
Thought I'd throw in some park cleaning videos, but I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the bell, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.